I think it's part of like what I think you got to put on. You're not you're not alone, in, but I know you feel alone, in, and that's like you kind of tired of being home. alone. And it's even worse because I'm the opposite. You're gone. You're busy. I'm just alone. I mean, you really can't go. And I, I think I think the worst thing for me is, is, is as those of you guys that maybe know us a little bit, is, I mean, I'm a fixer, so having you go through something like this, I just want to fix it, but I can't fix the pandemic. I mean, if I could, wow. wow. I mean, we'd be rich. I got you outside. Yeah, you got me out of the bed finally. So what do you have planned for the week? It's your birthday month, almost. Last day of May. Yep. Birthday's in June. But I don't really like my birthday, so... Yeah, you're... Yeah. I mean, I'm the opposite of... There's so many people that are like, That's my birthday month, my birthday week. I'm like, let's glaze over it. Let's not even notice it. I am... If I can be selfish for 30 seconds, I have anxiety over your birthday this year. So I did pretty good last year. I did really good last year. I don't know if you'll ever be able to top that. For those of you who don't know, I made a giant happy birthday video for Allison last year. It was all our friends and people wishing Allison happy birthday. And there was oh, falling. <laughs> and <clears throat> three or four times throughout the month, I actually played the video in front of you. I, I specifically remember Rick and Meg sending me a video, and we were in the car together, and I played it because I just I always play things with Rick. There was there was one other thing like um what was it? Oh, you were gonna show me a picture on your phone, <coughs> and there was like all these images from other like other girls there. I didn't know there were videos at the time. I'm like, why do you have so many videos of other girls on your phone? But I was. And you're like, just mind your business, woman. <laughs> mind your business, woman. <laughs> I was like, okay. I think I could wish for one thing for your Ooh. I just would wish for, like, a small piece of normal. Like, like your hair done. Like, yeah, getting my hair done. Or being able to... Like, I know we can go out to eat and stuff like that, but it just doesn't feel normal. Like, I just... I'd, heck, I'd take getting to sit at my desk at work for a day. Like, I... We are in that weird ugh, moment. Well, well no, we are in this weird spot where we can start doing things, but we don't know whether we should do the things. Right. Like, you can go out to eat, but is that the safe thing to do? Like, I mean, it's worked. The, the, I guess we might call it good or bad news. It's worked for us so far. So, I mean. Well, I love you. So, you feel good to get out of the house a little bit. I think that's part of my other problem is like, I just 
sit at home, and then I know you work all day, so like you want to be home at night, and I just, I'm just itched to get out. And I'm, it's finally starting to come up to like I go for a bike ride or I can go for a walk. But I just like I can walk, but I can pull so easily. Yeah. I'm sharing this because I don't. Th I know you feel isolated. You are. <laughs> You should feel that way because you are. I mean... But I think, I know you feel alone. Uh, I feel very alone. I know. And, uh, but I think a lot of people are feeling that way too. So I think you sharing that is really brave. This is tough. Super hard. But Over like, break. at the same time, like, is it really that tough? Like, oh, poor me. I'm locked in my warm home with my food. Why should I be sad about that? Because it is hard. I'm recording you for crying. I will talk. I think it's important to you understand that you're, you're going through something. Even It's an upheaval of your entire life in many ways. Your whole routine. I mean, we are two very much routine people. I am a routine person. We both, like, to no a fault. Business. We love our routines. And, um, it's tough when your whole routine is upheaved like that, especially when, as we just said, we were pretty blessed. I feel very blessed. And we really enjoy the routine. <laughs> like that. So it's hard. Um, it's a better day, though. It's hardly good. The whole thing that you've done here, I think, is amazing. I think it's good that you're accepting that you're feeling sad, but it's good that you have some perspective that you it could be a lot worse. I mean, I'm thankful to be semi-healthy. Like, I mean, <laughs> I'm thankful sorry. not to have COVID-19, let's say that. And there's a lot of things to be thankful for, so. I've had a couple of customers this month contact me and say that they have to figure out a way to move on from their car because they've been impacted so much by this, and that's hard to hear. So, I mean, like, I'm sure there's people that are worried about the house. So, it's, so, it's a sad, scary time for all of you. still, like, I feel like we're maybe, like, on the upward trajectory, or I don't know what the right word is, yeah. Hey guys, how you doing? It's been a minute. This isn't working, is it? Hang on. A little better, huh? Hang on. There. All right, hang on a second. It'd be easier for you to sit over here. It'll work. So yeah, there was that. We've had a lot of mail since we've done it. I should say, you've gotten a lot of mail. Most of the stuff is you. There's only, I got the hats from the bays. And then, of course, the one was made out to both of us. Got an anonymous cabin creek card, for $20. Yeah, someone mailed us that. And you won the Derek Queen gift certificate or contest. Yep. $25 <coughs> gift card to Regalos. And then two of the gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan dilly bars, which are amazing. So that was exciting. Did you put your second one in the freezer? Yep. Good. Good. Had one tonight. The other one's saved for tomorrow. Last week's video. I am sorry I'm only putting out videos once a week between work and I don't, I just, I don't know. I just don't have time at night now. I think we're going to try to be home a little more this week. Yeah, so I can work on stuff, but. Yeah, anyways, the video we made last week was in support of Thunder Bay Arts Council. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, you should. I'm going to do something. Link in the description. Oh my god, or link up here. I most see that in YouTube videos all the time. Most YouTube thing I've ever done right there. First of all, you guys should check that out. It's really cool. Um, you have to go to their website, which the whole video talks about. Um, there's a packet that you can do mobily, or if you want to print it out, it's substantial, so I don't know if I print it out or not. It's very easy on your phone, just scrolling, so. 
definitely just visit their website. My dog keeps throwing tennis ball. I mean, that's what's going on. I'm sorry. And um, as a thank you, Jodine, who is on their board, gifted us a gift certificate to the local basket case, which I used to buy this, which I'm going to get embroidered this week, um, which was a birthday gift, which I'll share with that. And I wanted to do a whole thing about that. And then we also bought a blanket because Allison's always cold. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and never, keep it in the car so I can be warm in the car. We can never have enough blankets. Yeah. The blanket in the car is twofold. One, like I said, she always is cold. And two, by keeping it in the car, it should hopefully not have a lot of dog hair on it. Yes. So, um, I don't know. That's my thought. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, we also, Scott Bays dropped off this whole fun thing. Um, they are a whole bunch of old Final Four hats, which is really cool. <clears throat> this Dream Team 2. pin and a whole bunch of cords from different kind of floors. Um, I've yet to take the time to go through it to figure out. Are these like pieces of the floor that they were played on? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Indianapolis. My eyes are really bad. So this would have been 1993. That had been the year of the Fab Five. We're not going to talk about that. So let's just burn this one. 2002. 2002. Florida. Atlanta. No, I think Florida won that year. Oh. 94. Ooh, women's mm -hmm. 95. Well, you could be safe and just say Tennessee. <laughs> Thank you for that. Super awesome. I want to go through them. I'm going to do some with them. I haven't figured out what yet. I have an idea or two, though. So, um, but thank you very much for that. So that's two things from the bases. Team base. And then you got something. It's not here. You want to go grab it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Um, Ellie, she does my nails and um, dropped this off, spreading a mug of cheer. And it is a cute little mug with my name on it. So that was really nice. It was a nice surprise. You last week. I miss her. She misses all her. I don't know who you want to call them. My team. Your team, I guess, team. yeah. <laughs> Ellie, who does my nails, and Kristen, who does my hair. And and... You've, you've now recruited a massage therapist into the, yeah. the regular. Oh my god, I can't handle him. I love you, Stolbear. Is it okay? He just wants attention. He, he wants some. He wants some bourbon. I feel like that. I know she hasn't been around much. This whole thing right here, and I kind of heated right now, so I apologize, sums up why I have not been filming over the past, since I've gotten back to work. It is, feels like extremely difficult. And I understand like, it can't be the way it was during, I think that's part of my problem. It can't be the way it was during when I wasn't working where I had six hours a day to set up shots and take my time and make everything perfect. But like, I'm gonna roll it during this whole thing if I, if I have time to edit it. Then, night he has this whole fucking house i don't know why he's coming right here and doing it but anyways um it's amazing how much stuff i set up and like and it just never works out there's just always and i could like power through it like we are this time but it just it's annoying to me and i don't know i don't know I'm very frustrated with my YouTube career, which is where I was going into this next bullet point. Um, while I haven't made much content for myself, the upswing is, is I have, you guys, if you're not following Cl the Cliff Ange YouTube page, you definitely should do that. Because most of my stuff's being pushed there now. So I'm making videos there. This, I mean, we want to do more, and obviously it's just, I'm busy enough at work that I don't have time. It's like I just don't have time, and I don't know. I don't know how it'll ever work. I was talking with Jamie about this yesterday or on Friday. I either have to go in at like super early, which is almost impossible with you being at home right now. I mean, like it helps, but like me going in at six, seven o'clock in the morning is just super hard for us. And then, or I either work on a Sunday, which as you guys can imagine how fun that sounds, or a Saturday, or I stay late at night. 
And I, as I just, we started this video earlier, like, I don't know, like the idea of staying at work to film, which makes it would probably make me somewhat loosely happy. The idea of being at work even more though, it's just like, it's just this really wicked web. I'm really, I'm personally struggling with the whole video thing. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just scrap the whole thing. And I don't mean to scrap it from, obviously I'm still gonna make work stuff. I. I'll show you guys here as I'm talking right now. I literally have took that camera with me every day to work this week, and I literally have a video of me trying to video every day this week, and it just didn't work. The upside, though, is I've sold a lot of cars. I've been really busy, and it brings out to the final thought I want to share is I've been all over Michigan this month, and that only really becomes possible with two things. One, customers. Thank you very much. The most important part is I like to thank my brother Aaron who has been the person that has brought me back from all these, because you have to have somebody, if you're dropping somebody's car off to them, you have to have somebody bring you back. A lot of times his wife Isabel will come, so I like to thank both of them for that. Because without them, I wouldn't be able to go all these places. Um, check out tomorrow or Tuesday, depending on how my day goes tomorrow. On, I'm gonna try to do a little graphic of everywhere I want this morning. Or, oh, cool. Yeah, I have not, hard to believe about all the cars I sold, I hardly sold any cars in Alpino. I know, like every day, you're like, okay, I'm heading up here, I'm going down here, and I'm like, okay, I'm at home, yeah, or somebody, see you later. I sold like four cars around your city this month, so it's like, that's just crazy to me, so, but I mean, we have ties around our cities at dealership, and of course, a lot of opposing people are around your city, so I'm not surprised, it's just, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, as you guys saw earlier, Allison's still at home. Yeah. And, uh. Probably will be for another month or so. So, boom. We are at a loss. I don't know, or we are at an impasse of losses of valor. We have two different meaning views on exactly what to do. I want to drop about another five hundred dollars on the office area. Allison doesn't want to spend any more money. Um, Shocker, I know, right? Yeah. Well, I, the, the reason you don't want to spend any more money is because you think you're going to go, you're, you're hoping to go back to work on any day. Mm -hmm. And I would rather just, I know if we spend the $500, you're probably going to go back to work tomorrow. Yeah, probably. <laughs> that works, right? <laughs> right? But We got it how we want it. Allison, come on in. But something we haven't really talked much about is that the ergonomics of our office are horrible for your body. Constantly. Like, I just work hunched over. On a little iPad. On an iPad. It's and, horrible for my neck and back. You know, we bought a real monitor, so the, the plugins got you looking up and everything. I know, even now my neck is just kind of like, oh. Yeah, so, I just think, you know. She probably just bite the bullet. Yeah. But I get it. I mean, I'd rather spend it on camera equipment too. I had my other stitch fix. I didn't even bother recording that because that was miserable. So I've given up on Stitch Fix. Alice, in the meantime, I bought Stitch Fix stock. So. It's because I have this. So. Our house isn't big, but it's big enough that he doesn't have to be like right here. Well, he loves us. Yeah. He loves us. All right. Anything you want to say to our peeps? They miss us. People tell me all the time. When did you, uh, we miss you guys. I really enjoyed watching maybe you. Maybe I'll try and be more proactive or maybe I'll try and like get you to do this more often. We'll see how that works. I guess that's up as Leah. Final Cut Pro is going amazing, by the way. My new editing software. Oh, that's good. I didn't know how that was. I am really good at it or I've gotten a lot better at the learning curve as a big grader. I know how to mask now. So now I can make like five of me in the screen at the same time. I've yet to do that. If you guys saw that, Allison changing her clothes and all that crap was crazy before. Wait till you see what I can do now. Holy cow. I don't say, what are you going to do this week? But I know you're going to be at home working. I, I did escape last week during lunch one day to meet two of my coworkers, which is really, really nice. You 100% should and need to do that. I mean, I think it's been really hard on me as well, knowing that you're here. Like, just here. At least, I was telling my therapist it was easy when we were both in it because we were just like oh we're both in this together mm -hmm. and now the hardest thing about it is it's like you're over here i'm over here not necessarily that either of us want to be in either of the situations that we're in ideally it's awesome when we're together in the same situation we're both working but mm -hmm. um and there's a certain amount of comfort i'm taking in the fact that you are safe 
I know. You know? I mean, I mean I'm, I'm grateful that my employer wants me to stay safe and that they're doing this as a precaution for me and for them. So. 100%. And, I mean, these are truly first world problems that we're talking about here. I mean, really this is. isn't lost on either of us. We know that. Oh, congratulations to the class of 2020. Oh, yeah. Today, Alpina High did their graduation. Steve helped with that filming. Yeah, I was going to say, my fingerprints are on that video. And if you look at it, you can tell when they were. By this type of look on the video, you can also immediately tell what my ones were I helped with. So Yeah. It's supposed to be nice this week. So maybe we'll get back to our normal night routine of going for a walk and vlogging like we were in the beginning. It's been nice having Aaron and Isabel here, cause like, they they self quarantined when they got here, so they were fine. Didn't see them for a little bit, and then, so now I at least feel like I get to see some people, <laughs> hang out with some people. I mean, hundred percent. It's just the whole thing is really weird to me. I'm really confused by it. Yeah. And this has been a tough like week. <laughs> well, the battery died. So we are done, whether we wanted to be or not. So tell the people bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.